All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. Uh, coming at you with some interesting news, a little bit of a discussion. Uh, today I want to talk about one championship fighter, Denise Zamboanga. So the undefeated one championship fighter from the Philippines uh, recently did an interview with the South China Morning Post. And they talked about a few things. Uh, one of the things was that she's coming off a surprise win over Mei Yamaguchi. She took that fight on, I think, two weeks notice, came out and just absolutely uh, controlled and dominated Yamaguchi in every aspect of the fight, which was a big surprise, I think, to everybody. Huge upset. Um, however, the most important thing uh, to come away with from this interview is that she revealed that she is the next in line to face one Adam Waite champion, Angela Unstoppable Lee. Um, apparently, they were sched originally going to fight for one of the uh, closed door events that one had scheduled for Singapore. Of course, those are now uh, have been shuttered. Uh, so, this fight won't happen that soon, but it is still uh, set to happen at some time in, in the future. Excuse me. Um, Taking a look at these two, uh, Lee's the more experienced fighter. She's 10 and 2. Uh, Zamboanga's uh, 7 and 0. Uh, they are both 23 years old. Lee has the height advantage: 5 feet 4 inches, 163 centimeters, to 5 feet 2 inches, 158 centimeters for Zamboanga. And I think this makes for a very interesting style matchup. We haven't seen a lot of Zamboanga on the ground, so you definitely want to give the advantage to Lee there based on what little we've seen from Zamboanga on the ground and what we have seen on the ground of Lee. However, the stand-up, there's a big disparity in the stand-up. Uh, Zamboanga has been training at the Fairtex gym, uh, has really worked on her stand-up. Her stand-up is very nice, very crisp, very technical compared to uh, that of Lee's. So it'll be very interesting to see how they match up on the feet. Uh, I definitely give the technical advantage to Zamboanga. Uh, Lee's biggest weakness in her stand-up is that she just does not move her head. Like, at all. It is always there to be hit. And she seems fine to just absorb them. I mean, that is a big head. It's a big target. But she seems to absorb punches very well. So the biggest question is going to be... Lee's going to want to fight her on the ground. Can she get it there? Is Zamboanga's takedown defense going to be good enough to stop Lee? And if she gets taken down, can she get back up? That's going to be a very big question. Um, one other thing that's interesting is that, you know, like I said, Zamboanga trains alongside... Uh, at the Fairtex gym alongside Stamp Fairtex. Now, Stamp Fairtex is another fighter that is l lining up a chance at Angela Lee. She's not going to face her just quite yet, but she definitely has her sights on Angela Lee. So what makes this even more interesting is, what if Zamboanga beats Lee, and then Stamp wins a fight or two, and then gets scheduled to face, and they, those two get scheduled to face each other? Would they agree to fight each other? They are on the same... They they train together at Team Fairtex. Now, Zamboanga isn't there a full-time. She does also train back home in the Philippines. But that would make for a very interesting situation to see, you know, would they fight each other? And if they do, how would those two fare against each other, being that they train together a lot? And both have, you know watched each other spar, they've sparred against each other, they know their each other's strengths, they know each other's weaknesses. It's very interesting uh, how those two would match up. But back to Zamboanga versus Lee. You know, I'll admit, the last two of Zamboanga's fights, both of her fights in one championship, I picked against her. I totally underestimated her because her first five opponents didn't have a win between them. So... Totally underestimated her based on a record alone. And I will say this. I'm not going to underestimate her again. So when this fight gets formally announced, definitely going to do a full 
uh, breakdown and, and preview on this fight because this is a very interesting matchup to me. Um, especially the way Zamboanga handled Mei Yamaguchi compared to how Lee did against Yamaguchi both times she fought her. Now, some might say, but Chuck, you know, maybe Yamaguchi's not, you know, going downhill. She's getting older. Yeah, but she's still been one of the top fighters in... She's basically been the default number two in one championship's Adam weight division pretty much since uh, she made her debut in one. So, even if she's falling, even if she's going downhill a bit, she's still better than most of the ladies in that division. Um, so, that is definitely, I think those are definitely going to be the fights I'm going to watch to see how they would compare and match up against each other. I'll have to watch Zamboanga versus Yamaguchi again, and then Lee versus Yamaguchi 1 and 2 again. So, should make for a very interesting fight between those two. Uh, anyway, that's really all I have uh, on this. I will link the article uh, in a pinned comment down below. Go ahead, check it out, give it a read. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, likes are always appreciated. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the only WMMA channel on YouTube consistently putting out fresh content during this ongoing pandemic. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Be a lot cooler if you did. And we'll see you next time.